Good morning and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to create images using Bing AI. Now Bing is from Microsoft and of late we have had several websites where we can create images using artificial intelligence and Microsoft has also come in with Bing and you can access this through bing.com forward slash create and uh, you notice how the Microsoft Bing AI looks like. You simply come to this site, you notice you can, you can generate images using AI based on your text and that is basically using prompts just like it's done in other websites and in this YouTube channel you'll be able to find other tutorials on how you can generate images using other AI websites. And so you are welcome to go through this channel and watch those ones. So to use Bing to create or to generate your image, you will simply come to bing.com forward slash create. That link is available in the description of this video. And then up here, you notice you can describe what you like to create and then we have join and create. So instead of having to type something here, then join and create. I would advise you to just go directly to joining and then you can create once you have joined. So I'll click on join and create. Then if I have an account with Microsoft, then I'll just sign in. If I don't have any, and in this case, if I assume you don't have one, you'll simply click on create one. And that will take you to this page where you can now sign up to earn points. And I'll be explaining about those points for rewards and experience with being image creator once we sign in. So here you can sign in with an email or you can use a phone number instead and you can also get a new email address from Microsoft. So in this case, we're just going to be using the email we already have. Then you click on next. This is a process of creating your account with Bing so that you're able to create your images. So then you put your password there and then you click on next and then you put your details here. That is your name, first name and last name. And then you click on next. Then you put your birth date here and your country. In this case, it remains Kenya. Then I'll select January and then I'll select the date and then I'll select the year. Then you click on next. So you notice it's a very easy thing to register this. Now you will go back to your email to confirm the code that has been sent to you. So I'll click on my email and then down here you notice we have an, a message. We have an email from Microsoft. So I'll click on that to get the code and this will help to verify my email. So the code is here. So I'll copy that, come back to my email and then I'll put the code there. And then if you like to receive information and tips and also offers and other products and services from Microsoft, you can check this box. If you do, if you do not want that, you can just uncheck it. In this case, I'll leave it checked so that it can be getting the updates. Then I click on next. And this takes me to this live sign up where now I have to solve a puzzle so that I'm able to prove that I'm not a robot. So I'll click on next so that I can get the puzzle. And this is an easy puzzle. You simply follow the puzzle, but this verification process may keep on changing, but it's part of what you do. And the verification is now complete. So you notice I get that verification complete. So it now takes me to the homepage for Bing. That is bing.com forward slash images forward slash create question mark. So you notice here, I have something written rewards. You remember we mentioned rewards in the introduction. These are rewards that you use or the points, the boost points that you use to generate an image. So depending on the number of images and the complexity of the image, these boosts will keep on reducing. Your image generation takes longer. So it's faster when you still have these boosts. And then we have create for this create. You simply click on it once you have put a prompt here. And this is where we are going to be typing a prompt. Like in this case, we don't have any prompt typed there. So we are going to be typing that. And then how do we use the surprise me? The surprise me, you use it to just get an idea of how you generate a prompt. So I want you to check here where we have nothing typed on the prompt here. 
then I click on surprise me. So you notice here, it's generating a prompt to give you a clue. That's a prompt, surreal landscape of a man standing in front of a portal to another dimension. So it has already generated that surprise uh, prompt. So I can still click on it again, then I get another surprise. You notice by doing that, my boosts here remain the same. You only exhaust the, you only start using the boosts once you click on create or once you create an image. Then up here, you notice we currently don't have any rewards. They are currently at zero and this will keep on changing if we keep on working here. So now how do you generate the prompt? Now to make sure that you get the prompt, now before we generate the prompt, just see the sample work that has been generated using Bing AI image generator. You notice the quality of this image. And then if you have no idea on how to develop the prompt, you simply bring your cursor to one of the images. Then you see the prompt that was used to generate that. If I put it here, you see a panda bear baking a cake in a sunny kitchen. That is the prompt. And that's a digital art. If I click on the first one, bright eye makeup looks. So that is how you can get an idea about the prompt. It's basically a simple sentence that will have the subject, that is a noun, and then the verb, the action that you would want, and an adjective that will basically be describing your noun. So this can help you get an idea of what or how to do your prompt. Like in this case, you notice tiger nesting dolls, and you notice that is the image generated. So this gives you an idea of how to generate your prompts. So let's click on here and generate our image. Let's type here, a young elephant taking water on a sunny day. Then you notice my boosts here are at 100. So then I click on create. And now you notice it has changed to creating. And so Bing is now working. And here they give you a tip. You describe an art movement like impressionism. And so it's still creating and gives you the tip on how to do it. And there it is. We notice we have our young elephant taking water on a sunny day and we have four images. I want you to notice here, our boosts have reduced to 99, meaning to generate these images, we have used one boost. Here where we had zero, it has now changed to three. So that is how you use these boosts. They are simply used to generate an image. So I can now see my images. I click on one image to just view its quality. You notice it's very nice quality. If I want to see the next image, I click on that. You notice we also have this one. We have this one and we have the last one. Now the last one looks a bit funny with at the edges. It's more blurry. So I'll use the first image. So I'll click back up to this first image. So if I need to use this image, unlike other platforms where we had a place where we could upscale or get different variations, with Bing currently we don't have the variations. But again, these are things that are prone to change with time because it is still new. So we cannot upscale this image. So what I'm going to do, I can either save the image or download. So I want to download the image, then I can view the quality of that image using an image viewer. So I'll click on download and my image is already now downloaded down here. So I'll open the image and then I'll zoom it to see the quality. So this is my image. You notice the quality is very nice. It's so detailed, although it may not be HD quality, but at least the quality is good enough. So you can keep on adding other prompts here and you can also use surprise me. So let me use surprise me to get a prompt. I click on surprise me so that I get a surprise prompt. A cute happy Shiba Inu astronaut on a peak background digital art. Now, if that's what I want, if I'm okay with that, I just I click on create. Notice 99 and 3 here so that we see the changes. It's now 98 and here 6. So again, we give it time to create and uh, you notice now we have our recent image on this side and there we have our cute happy shiba you know astronaut on a peak background digital art so you notice 
you are able to get an idea of the prompt that can generate such nice images by using the surprise me. I hope this has been helpful on how to use Microsoft Bing to generate images. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.